Hey, what's going on guys? So a lot of you know that I'm creating my own Udemy courses now. I released an Angular 4 course a little over a month ago and I just released my next course which is a front-end course and it's called Bootstrap 4 from scratch with five projects. So this is actually a ten and a half hour long course that'll teach you just about everything to do with Bootstrap 4. Now you don't need to have any experience at all with Bootstrap 3. In this video I want to take you through and show you exactly what you'll learn and what you'll build in this course. It hasn't been released yet but by the time this video is uploaded it should be available and the link should be in the description. Now it's set at $50 but I'm giving you a code, a, a, a link with a code to get it for just 15 bucks. So just use the code YouTube and you should get the $50 course for $15. Now teaching something like bootstrap can be a little tedious because there's just so much HTML involved and a lot of people they don't like copy and paste they also don't want to watch me type every single HTML tag. So what I've done for the first few sections of this course which are the learning sections is I've created a bootstrap sandbox UI page for every lecture and every page has a start state and then as we move through the lectures you'll code along with me and we'll basically bootstrap it up. All right, so here's an example of the UI, and we have all the, the four different sections here. We have utilities with things like, you know, basic typography, floats and positioning. We have uh, colors, the color classes, spacing. So we'll talk about the margin and padding classes, things like that. All the utilities, sizing. Then we have our CSS components, so we'll look at buttons. For instance, the start state of this page will be just all plain looking ugly HTML buttons. And then we'll go through and I'll, I'll show you all the different classes to add and all the different markup to, to make it look better, to bootstrap it up. Okay, we have a page for the nav bars, we have uh, forms, okay, all the different validation classes. Then we'll move on to gr the grid system. So you have the grid system, we have Flexbox, Bootstrap 4 now uses Flexbox. We'll go over the alignments, all that stuff. JavaScript widgets. I'll show you how to create carousels and collapse widgets. So this is this is the UI that we're going to use for uh, section two through five. Okay. Once we do that, we're going to move on to section six, where we're going to build something called the Bootstrap 4 Starter Pack. And basically, what this is is it's a it's going to be a, a workflow for the next five projects. So we're going to make it so that we can build Bootstrap from source, we can compile our SaaS, and we can even run a dev server. And we're going to do this by using Gulp. We're also going to use the Gulp SaaS plugin. Uh, and then all we'll have to do when we want to start a new project is npm install to install the dependencies, and then run npm start, and that'll compile everything and run the dev server. Okay, it'll also have auto load. And that's how we're going to develop our themes. Now for the projects, the first one we're going to develop is a theme called Loop Lab, which is basically like a, like a social type theme that uses grids and flexbox classes. It's very simple, but I think it's pretty nice looking and elegant. So each nav up here, if we click it, we'll go down to that section. We have explore, create, share. So down here we have a simple contact modal that opens up. So very simple but very elegant. And all of these are completely responsive. All right, so if I make this smaller, you'll see this is completely responsive. All right, all the projects are. Next one is a theme called Mazooks, which is kind of like a, a book or a product showcase theme. So we have the big image here. We have a, a nav bar here. Now, in this case, it's a one page theme just like the last one, but we implemented a jQuery scroll plugin so that we can smoothly scroll to whatever section of the theme. We're also using some collapse widgets here. We have this meet the author section, contact form. I created a, a simple custom logo. So that's the next project. Then we're going to move on to our blog system, our blog admin UI called Blogin. And there's actually a bunch of different pages. This is the dashboard. We also have a login page. We have a post details page with the, the save and delete buttons, the form, image upload. We have up here these three buttons which are going to open up modals. We even implemented a WYSIWYG editor in the add post modal. And we have post categories, users, we have a settings page. Okay, we get settings, we have profile. So there's about nine or ten pages total here. So it's quite a big project. The next one we're going to build is a multi-page theme called Glossum, which has a, a nice carousel on the home page. We have some background images with some fixed scrolling. We have uh, a video that will open and autoplay. 
We have a photo gallery which uses a plugin called Echo Lightbox. So if I click on this, you'll see it'll open the picture up in a lightbox. Little newsletter at the bottom. Then we have our about page. Okay, pretty simple. We're using um, a third-party script called Slick Slider that'll go through the testimonials here. We have a services page again using the collapse widgets, a blog page which uses the new Bootstrap cards, and then a contact page. All right, and then the last project is a portfolio theme. And this actually uses the collapse widget for the, the different pages. This is the home page. We have some progress bars with his skills. And if we go to resume, you'll see it'll just slide up. So we have some some companies that he worked at. The work page has an image gallery again using a light box. And we have the contact page. Okay, and then just a download resume button at the bottom. And this uses a grid at the top here. This is one column, this is one column. And then we're using Flexbox. So we're using a flex column going this way, and then a flex row for each of these icon areas here, each of these navigation items. All right, so hopefully you guys that are interested in learning Bootstrap 4 will look into this. I think you'll really like it. There's a ton of content, 10 and a half hours. I didn't even expect that much content. Uh, but yeah, you'll look down here and you can see the different sections. And you can see the, the five different projects here. So each one is about an hour. Or so the, the, the Glossom multi-theme page is, is almost two hours. So you have a lot of stuff to work with. I'm actually going to be on vacation for the next three or four days. So this, heck, this will give you guys something to do while I'm gone until I can get back and start making more videos. So hopefully you guys look into it. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.